Uh, okay, guys, guess what? Well, we're going to clean out this pantry and restock, get rid of the stuff that's old and make it all brand new. I have these old bins in here, these old bins in here, and I'm going to put all clear bins like this, bigger ones. Um, so I'm going to get rid of these and make everything clear where you can actually see what it is. Okay, so I'll be back and show you guys the finished product. And also, this is the back of the pantry door. So I'm going to um, go through my spices, the old ones, and get rid of those. So, yeah, all this is going to be cleaned out in the pantry. It's not a huge one, but it's big enough. All right, so you'll see the After Effects later. Okay, everybody, here is the pantry completed. So, Paulette has cleaned it out um, and restocked the pantry. Some of the stuff we've taken downstairs in the overflow room because we don't want it to be too crowded in here. So as you can see, the plastic bins, this is what we have in here to keep everything together. We did go ahead on and reuse the plastic bins that we had the uh, eBay clothing in, see? And it, it just keeps it more, more together. So we got the cans in there, canned goods, certain canned goods, <clears throat> spices, and that's where our, all our baking supplies, you know, sugar, flour, and powdered sugar and all that. And here, these baskets right here, we use these for onions, potato jams, things like that. So, once again, and I look, love my little containers for cornmeal and things like that. We still kept that. Another plastic bin our vinegars and liquid aminas and sauces and oils, our sweeteners, sugar, raw sugars, syrups, um, vanilla extract. I don't know why she got that in there. That needs to be over in the other area. So I'll move that. I think that's in the wrong spot. But y'all get the jazz. And while I'm in here, I'm noticing I'm out of the sugar-free um, like the Tonys, I buy the sugar-free Skinny Girls for my coffees and teas. So, and all those right there, that's for uh, flaxseed, my stevia blend, and things like that. And my whey gluten, I'm going to use that to make me some vegan meats. And as you can see, my jars, we brought them off the kitchen counter and brought them in here with the beans and stuff in them. And she refilled them with the beans and our spices. <clears throat> now this is where this go, over here. This, the lemon abstract, okay? All our spices and things. Yeah, everything came out great. All right, guys, so I forgot and left my strawberries in the freezer for a couple of days. And blueberries, they're all ready. Somebody hit up my, my pineapples. Look at that. They've been eating my pineapples. But I'm going to make do with what I got. We're going to bag them up and put them back in the freezer and have them ready for the smoothies. Good day, everybody. Well, it is Sunday. I showed you guys earlier me bagging up. I bagged up my frozen fruit for my smoothies. This is my first meal of the day, the salad in the jar. I never showed you guys, this is how it comes out. That's why you don't need any dressing because all the vegetables, the water from the vegetables and the dressing that I put in the bottom, and this is how it comes out on top. So I have some salmon in the microwave. Um, Paulette cooked 
some walnut crusted salmon. I'm gonna top that with a piece of salmon and uh, put a little cheese on top. And that will be uh, my first meal. Lunch, brunch, whatever you wanna call it. And there she is, topped with the crusted salmon. That is my first meal of the day. Salmon salad. Hello. Guys, when I tell you the salad, the salad came, it tastes so good. I used a uh, Kraft Catalina light dressing. It's 40 calories a serving. That's what's in here. And um, the olives, the fresh olives um, that I did and the salad in the jar, which you guys seen that, it just takes it to another level. It's so good and healthy. So, as you've seen, I have all these vegetables in my salad. I have bell peppers, olives, green olives, mushrooms, and tomatoes. And then I added, I sprinkled a little Parmesan cheese on top of this, along with the queso cheese. I put a little queso cheese, like about an ounce of queso cheese in there and a, a teaspoon of Parmesan cheese. And it just takes it to the next level where you're not overdoing it. And it's just enough. Very filling. Very filling. All righty. So let's go on and eat this. And then I'm going to take a trip to Walmart because I need to get some lady items and um, some vitamins. I'm out of my vitamin C and my um, vitamin D3. I started taking these vitamins when COVID first hit, when they were saying that, oh, that won't work. Vi taking all these vitamins won't help, help against COVID. Baby, I didn't believe them. Uh, I watched this one doctor, he came on and he said, don't listen, still take your vitamins, and these vitamins do boost your immune system. And I started taking them, and I had I never got the C. Um, I didn't get sick until 2022. The end of 2022, um, after I came to Georgia and was around my grandkids, but um, never got the C. So... I'm blessed in that. A lot of people can't say that, but as of right now, I've never gotten to see. So anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. We'll be back. Okay, guys. So I have made it home and we're going to go over this um, grocery haul. I spent $110, like I said, at Walmart. And this is what I got. For $110. I know it don't look like a lot, but we all know, uh, well, it looked like a lot for today, especially with how high things are. So I got my personal items over there. They were only $14.97. So uh, that's why I got them. That was a good deal. I got my spinach. You sh I showed you guys that. That was um, $4.98. And then I got unsweetened dark chocolate. These were $2.10 each. This Okios Triple Zero Yogurt, Greek yogurt, that was um, $4.82. And then I got these loaded baked mash for $1.91, five serving. So um, this is great. It can be eaten as a meal by itself. Or add it, you fry up some chicken, make a, bake some chicken, because we don't really fry chicken here. Bake chicken, bake fish, whatever you want. Great for a side dish. Then they had P.F. Chang's on sale. They had one for a dollar and something. They were all gone. <coughs> the uh, noodles, the Chinese noodles, P.F. Chang noodles were gone. So this, for both of them, it was $2. She only charged me $2.20 for two. So that was great. A dollar and five each. 
uh, chicken fried rice, P.F. Chang's. Uh, then I got this seasoned blend. I love to buy onions and bell peppers already frozen. And if I catch them on sale, I'll get them. They were on sale for 50 cents. They only had one left. I got Marie calendars. I, all of them are the same. And I got these because they were only $2.50 each. Uh, it's the Salisbury steak and roasted potatoes. It's a meal to share. It comes with three Salisbury steaks and potatoes. So two people can eat on that. So that's great. And I got um, all the ones that was left. I think they had five left. I got five. Uh, next, y'all know my grandkids are vegetarians. And when I seen this, veg vegetable lasagna, uh, noodles layered with ricotta cheese, spinach, broccoli, carrots, onions, peas, Alfredo sauce. Baby, I grabbed it. I love vegetable lasagna. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be good too. And this was only $1.91. I bought all of them. I bought, sorry, I bought six of them. Um, so the great thing is we have ready side meals or complete meals that we can have when we really don't feel like cooking. I got a big bag of carrots because you all know I juice a lot. Um, I, got, I love caramel macchiatos. And I at uh, Starbucks is always a hit or miss. When I was in California, I love going to what's called Dutch Brothers. And they got what's called the caramelizer. Perfect every single time. I think I'm going to show you guys that in a clip when we went and we got it, but I never got around to showing you my actual drink and it's called the caramelizer. It is so good. And I stopped while I was in California. I made sure I got it. So, uh, they had this 377 and, uh, this is the big jug, 32 full ounces for $3 and 77 cents. So I got two. The other ones were um, four forty-eight and stuff like that. And I'm like, I was shocked when it was uh, three seventy-seven when she rung it up. I got my vitamins. I told you guys I needed to get some vitamin C. I cannot stand the vitamin C pills. They're too big, bulky, and so I get the gummies. And I found the sugar-free adult gummies. So I got me some more of that. I got my D3. I used my dad last D3 the other day. Once again, as I told you guys, I have been taking my vitamins since uh, COVID. I don't miss. And uh, last but not least, we got bananas. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Oh, I also got two lemons. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog today, the day, spending the day with me. I really enjoyed myself getting out, getting things done this morning. Um, now I'm going to go down. I have to, uh, package my items that sold over the weekend. I was trying to wait till later on today. Um, I was going to go down about five or six, but I think I'm going to go down now after I put this food away and uh, pack up all the eBay orders that came. I got six orders that came uh, through over the weekend and I got one uh, return item. Yes, that do happen. Uh, but she, I sent her the wrong item. Same brand, <laughs> New Day, same color shirt, but the material was different. One is long sleeve and one is short sleeve. I sent her the short sleeve one and she wanted the long sleeve one with the other type of material. And she said she do want it. So what I'm going to do is um, refund her her money and let her know she can go back on and purchase the um, New Day shirt that she originally ordered. So if this is your first time following me or seeing my videos, my name is Carmelita. This is Life After Retirement. Come along with me on my weight loss journey, starting a new business, uh, being an entrepreneur as a reseller on eBay and Poshmark so far. I will eventually be on other platforms and come with me while I shop. I have uh, videos uh, in what I made for the month of July and what I sold for the month of July. You can look, check that out. I'll link it above. 
and share my videos. If you like this type of content, hit that thumbs up button so YouTube can continue to share my videos with other people. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Woohoo! So I can get monetized. And for all Belita's World fam that's returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for following me. I will never, ever uh, be ungrateful. I am so grateful for all of my original followers since day one. Alrighty now, that's it. And as always, remember, peace, love, and happiness is the only way to live. Bye for now. Oh, I forgot. I got the Checkers Rally's Famous Season Fries. Love Checkers Fries. So I got those as well. These wind up being like $8, I think, $7.89, something like that. But it's um, 48 ounces, so...